Well, hi guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and here I am in my living room, and I have started the project without you. But I want you to know that my project for today, no, it's not the Goofy Cart. But I am taking out this bay window in the front of my house, and I am going to be replacing it with a smaller picture window. This one being a modular home is basically made up of two, uh, well, a pair of windows, a pair of each size, and uh, one on the outside. You see the outside set here. I've already removed the inside set, and they're basically storm windows, and uh, very, very drafty. I had rigid insulation across this opening this past winter because it was so bad. And I had tried to uh, just insulate across the bottom here. And uh, that didn't take care of it. I finally have determined that it's coming right up through the floor where it hangs out. Because I don't think there's any insulation in there. No matter what the reason, it's drafty. And my wife sits in this chair, which is normally a little bit closer. And uh, she feels the draft quite drastically and anybody sitting on the couch which is usually up against the window feels the draft so we're going to take this out and reframe it and it is 20 minutes past 12 right now I don't know if you can see my watch there it is that's our starting time so we'll see how long it takes to get this apart and get it reframed up and stick the window back in it won't get finished off today but just get it framed up and get the window in so it's weather tight hold on to your hats because here we go well you do know that i am the shade tree fix it man right and normally i'm showing you the big shade tree in my backyard but i'm standing right under the uh, middle shade tree i have three big ones in my front yard uh, my the front of my house faces due south whoops sorry to bump the screen there and, and uh, these keep it shadowed in the summertime and uh, keeps the direct sun off the front of our house which helps to keep it cool and of course in the winter time we get the benefit of the leaves falling off and we get the solar effect uh, of heat and some days it we get so much solar warmth from it that I open my front door and uh, just keep the storm door there and you can feel the heat coming through the storm door. So anyway, this is where I'm going to be working from. And uh, this is my project. So you hold on your hats and let's do it to it. Okay, one window out, two to go. And uh, see if I get my watch in front of the camera while I'm standing behind it. Five minutes of one. Hopefully the next two will go a little bit faster. Hold on to your hats. Okay, 20 minutes after one, we got the second one out. Now we'll go for the third one. I'm not going to bore you with watching me do that. Okay, we got all three windows out. 130. That's not bad. An hour and a half to get all three of them out. So now 
got to get out my saws all, my circular saw, go to town cutting that framing off, and then start framing up for the new one. Hang on to your ass, here we go! Well, guys and gals, there it is. It's all in and weather tight. I have a lot of cleaning up to do, as you can see over here. And we are still deciding on what we're going to do to fill in our siding. We're thinking about maybe stone. It will be a, a not real stone, but a. a high density foam replication looks exactly like the real thing 
Um, we used to use it at Yoder Barnes, put it on our sheds there. And uh, I have a couple of pieces actually uh, down in my basement. Uh, yeah, that's the difference now. Smaller window. Um, I think I will probably try to trim it out and put brown trim around it, just like the door and the other windows have. I have to find somebody that can bend the sheet metal for me. Um, yeah, that should do the job. Won't be any more drafts once that's insulated. And that's triple pane thermal glass, I believe it is. But here it is, another beautiful day in the neighborhood. And as usual, George is working in the shade. And uh, it was one of the warmer days that we've had recently. Woo, let's back you up there. Yeah, it's up into the 80s, but I think it's probably around the high 70s now. You can tell the breeze blowing all the time. The corn is getting close, but it's, now it's going to turn brown before they're going to start harvesting that. So until next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for commenting, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for following along. Bye for now. Oh, and I almost forgot. My son Chad came over around uh, 3.30. Oh, and I didn't show you the time, did I? He came over around 3.30 and help me finish putting the wall together and put it in place. Let me show you what the time is, okay? Are you ready? There it is. It's 5.30. So we started a little afternoon, five and a half hours, most of the time working by myself with my wife doing some pickup and passing stuff. And then the last couple hours with my son helping me uh, finish putting the wall together and putting it in place. And then you saw him helping me put the window up in. And he was on the inside making sure it was centered in the opening. Well guys, I thought I'd give you a quick inside shot just as a parting shot. And this is the way it's gonna remain until I'm ready to finish it off. I have a little wiring to do. Of course, I gotta do insulation. And then we're gonna be paneling our whole living room and it's going to be rustic. It's going to be barn board kind of stuff. Yes, three bob kind of barn board kind of stuff. Until then, before I get into doing all of that, though, I have two more windows that I have to install. They're sitting right here. And they're, whoa, bounce you around here. They're going to go over here. They're going to replace the two windows in our breakfast nook, which is right there. And uh, I'm going to wait until we don't need the AC anymore. Actually, we're in the middle of September and we're having the warmest weather of our summer for the most part. Today was up in the middle, upper 80s while I was replacing that window. And uh, so once it cools down and I know it's not going to be needing the AC anymore, then I'll pop the AC out and I replace those two windows uh, with insulated windows. And that AC unit, the plan at the moment anyway, is to uh, put it out in my garage. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put it in that window right there which during the summertime has all of my cleaning supplies and stuff like that or if I will put it in the window that overlooks my workbench which might be a good idea but then I would be uh, I don't know either one is close enough to the work area where it will definitely cool me down so now no more this really is the end. Thanks for watching.
Spider's looking at you, kid. Knee deep. Knee deep. Knee deep. <laughs>